Good afternoon, everybody on YouTube. This is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. Today we are working on three more tapes of more basketball stuff. And, of course, quality is all the same. Seems like they were done all at the same time. All right. Anyways, we are working on some basketball stuff, I believe, out of Georgia again. Good quality, good scope. Video's playing really well. Um... Like you said, guys, we are really upgrading our equipment and being able to handle a lot of stuff here at Obsolete Video Services. Today, I'm working on three EIAJ tapes from Georgia, again, from the same customer. He sent me three more of these. They are basketball games, but this time they're marked, so I'll tell you what they are. Um, January 5th of 79, Vanguard versus Forced. Okay, kind of a wild thing. All right, another one is January 12th of 79, Vanguard versus uh, Burkholtz. Uh, Burkholtz, I think is how you pronounce that. January 12th of 79, Vanguard versus Burkholtz, I believe. Then we have another one here, January 26th, 79, Force versus Vanguard again. Of course, these crappy Sony tapes, which I had to bake all day, and uh, now I cleaned them and baked them and and repack them so they're playing really really good no stickiness no video head clogs no nothing these are playing very very well again guys here at obsolete video services sometimes I get some of the most amazing and some of the hardest stuff in the world to do these tapes are not easy to do sometimes you get some of these, these Sony ones and they will stick clog the heads they uh, com they're a complete nightmare for, for tape stock so you do have to bake and clean your tapes Clean your video heads, your guides. Of course, having a, a perfectly good working machine also helps as well. And the video on this is really good, dead center, and the audio is, isn't high on this one at all, so that's good. And, of course, when you're working with stuff like this, you want to have professional time-based correction and a scope to check out the signals. And a, a monitor for viewing purposes so you can see where you're at. And... Uh, if you got a really good setup, a real real good studio, you could do a lot of stuff. But you need to always remember when you're doing production work like this, you got customers to come to you for things that they sent somewhere else that they that they either were not happy with the video transfers that they got, or the companies could not do this kind of work. Nine times out of ten, I get people that send me stuff because they want me to redo it. And a lot of times I get people who bring me things that they just can't get done by anybody else because they don't trust them or they know they can't do the work. So here at Obsolete Video Services, we pride ourselves in being able to help customers. They, they have the impossible and they come to me and they're like, here, solve this problem. And when people bring me things, I'm able to solve it. And uh, it's not hard work for me at all. This is like a walk in the park when, you're, when you've been doing this for over 30 something years. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, Obsolete Video Services has really scored this week with more equipment. Betacam SPs and HD, uh, HD cam decks. We are really rolling now. And we have a whole studio to go cannibalize this week. And, of course, we got 3 quarter Yomatic as well. So, as we move into the year 2024, I'm, I'm, Absolute Video Services is going to be probably one of the leading edges of videotape recovery. Hope you enjoyed this video.